Good morning, Grade Three. I hope everybody is fine. I am back with yet another one more session of Grade Three EBS. In the last session, we discussed about what we wear, the Chapter Two, what we wear. Okay, so now we'll be moving ahead in the chapter. That day we had learnt about spinning, weaving, and knitting. These are the methods by which the clothes are made. The next topic in this chapter is the process of coloring. Kids, have you ever thought how are our clothes of different color? Some are red, some are green, some are blue, some are black. They all are of different colors. How? This is due to the process of dyeing. All the clothes are dyed in a particular color which we want. it is the process through which the pieces of clothes are colored you know what happens they are soaked in a solution of very hot water and in this hot water some dyes of different colors are mixed up and on a particular temperature these clothes are colored the color of a piece of cloth can be changed using any color dye but the colors can be changed only from light colors to the dark colors so in short dyeing is the process in which the pieces of clothes are covered in a very hot water solution okay there are basically two types of dyes first we'll be talking about the natural dyes natural as the name suggests these dyes are obtained from the nature from the plants from the vegetables for example the green color as you can see in this picture has been obtained from the spinach the blue color from the indigo indigo is a kind of indigo is a kind of plant which is giving us the indigo color the indigo color is a darker shade of the blue color and the red color from beetroot can you see the beetroot in this picture we obtain the red color from the beetroot so these are some basic examples of natural dyes which we obtain from our nature coming to the second type of dyes that is the chemical dyes these dyes are made from chemicals as you can see in this picture also these dyes or colors are prepared in the laboratories and then the clothes are cover colored using these chemical dyes to make our clothes more beautiful not only the colors but there are also patterns on our clothes the creating of patterns is an art there are various types of patterns created on our clothes the first one is tie and dye as you can see in this picture this is the pattern of tie and dye the tie and dye method is used creating such designs which is present in the picture In this process the dyed cloth can be folded and it is twisted in any pattern of your choice when it is folded then according to the folds only you will get the color on your t-shirt or any type of cloth this method is practiced very majorly in two states namely gujarat and rajasthan if you know this art you can make very beautiful clothes talking about the next type of pattern that is a block printing in this wooden blocks are prepared in the kinds of designs you want your clothes to be wooden blocks are created on which various designs are carved okay these are generated by the carpenters or the persons who are in, who are experts in creating the designs on wooden uh, things okay on the wood after this different colors are applied on the surface of the block and then they are printed very slowly and gradually on the cloth you want it to be printed so this is the kind of block printing as the name suggests blocks are used in this to print on a particular kind of cloth see this is a different kind of wooden block with which this cloth is prepared so this is the block printing coming to the next pattern in which we create both paintings and printings in this method a special pen or kalam in hindi we call pen as kalam in this method a kalam is used to create various kinds of designs on clothes 
this process is used in both painting and printing can you see the pattern children this pattern can be used in both painting and printing and used with a pen so kalamkari we call it kalamkari the next pattern is batik in this technique wax and dye both are used to create different patterns on the cloth before dyeing the clothes what happens we put hot wax on some parts of the cloth and when the wax cools down it is removed and beautiful pattern is created in the portions where the dye does not get in or absorbs it is not absorbed by the cloth for absorbing the color we put wax okay so in this technique wax and dye both are used to create different kinds of patterns and before dyeing the cloth we put hot wax that is why we said that in batik both wax and dye are used in this we put hot wax on some parts of the cloth where we want more color to seep in or absorbed by the cloth where the cloth is not able to absorb the talking about the next method of creating various patterns on a cloth we are talking about chicken kari we are talking about fulkari and kantha these are the basic patterns of embroidery it is one of the most common methods of creating designs on a piece of cloth in this the threads of different colors are used and they are put up together in such a way that your cloth starts looking beautiful hand is used to create these kinds of designs it is created by hand using colorful threads nowadays machines have also been generated or invented to embroider in any cloth the types of uh, embroidery they vary from one state to another like if you talk about chicken kari they are done this kind of pattern is uh, done in uttar pradesh fulkari is famous in punjab and kantha is famous in west bengal we you can use these fabrics and attach them into other clothes to make those clothes more beautiful so we talked about the various kinds of patterns the tie and dye the block printing kalamkari batik embroidery these are all the patterns which help us to make our clothes more beautiful thank you gayatri in case you have any doubt in the chapter you can ask me and i'll be sharing a link also on the portal to see the module regarding the same so please watch it thank you bye bye